Hello you guys, what's up and welcome. For today we're actually wearing this, what is it called, bonnet? I don't even know, I bought it like three years ago when I was obsessed with Emily in Paris. I put it away and I recently cleaned out like our junk room. Oh my gosh, you don't even know what I found there. But this is one of the things <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Let's rock this and I'm kinda, I'm kinda loving it. Let me know what you think, I got from Zara for $25. I don't know what I was thinking. Probably never again for that price, but it's cute nonetheless. For today's video, we're gonna discuss newly released makeup items that either just launched or are set to launch sometime very, very soon. We got really exciting goods here like Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, uh, um, Summer Fridays. Yeah, like just really good things that I felt like I needed to speak to someone about. No one in my personal life actually cares about these stuff. <laughs> So I'm just gonna speak to you guys and I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Let you know, let me know if these products are on your wish list, if you're picking them up, skipping out on them. What's the 411? Keep me posted and also I'll, I'll let you know like if I'm buying it or not or if it's in my maybe section. So yeah, let's, let's get started. First up, we have the Berry Pop Collection by Natasha Denona. You know, I never seem to miss a beat on her goods. In the past years, I know she released two eyeshadow like palettes, the five pan palettes that are very like Valentine's Day themed. This time around, I see she didn't release an actual five pan palette, which I'm kind of sad about because those palettes are my favorite from her whole line in general. Like her five pan Valentine's Day palettes are like my life. So I'm a little bit disappointed that I don't see a new one for this time around, but she is going to be releasing the Cherry Mob lipstick for $27. It's a Cherry Mob lipstick. <laughs> In addition to that, she's releasing a lip liner to go along with that and then a Berry Pop Cheek Trio for $48. I think I might end up just picking up the Trio. I really love the blush that's included. It's like a deep cherry. Love those type of shades. I feel like last year, everything was like the bright, cool toned pink. And this year, I feel like we're gonna see a lot of like cherry reddish type of blushes. And then there are two highlighters in here, one like champagne -y tone highlighter and one more like cherry-ish highlight. So I feel like that might be a little bit too deep for my personal skin tone, but I think it could be a good shade to wear as like a topper. I typically don't do that with these shades, so I don't know if I'm talking out of my butt right now, but we'll kind of see. If I don't use a highlighter on my face, sometimes I'll just use it on my inner corner of my eyes or my brow bone, so we'll hopefully make it work. I recently purchased her five pan my dream little palette which i love and so it just reminded me of how much i really enjoy her goods and i know it's going to be amazing quality so this is definitely one that's on my radar uh the lip products i might pick up i might not i know it's shades that i'm just not going to wear often if i do pick up one it'll probably be the lipstick the lip liner probably not i'm trying to kind of like take a step back from lip liners because i just feel like i have too much and i don't really wear them as much as i would like plus you can always take a lipstick and then take a thin brush and then line out your lips so you have your lip liner and then fill them in with a lipstick so sometimes i feel like it's unnecessary to actually purchase a lipstick for what 24 dollars we're good <laughs> but i think it should be available at sephora january 12th Yay. okay next we have some items here from essence this got me so beyond excited. So Essence is launching two brand new goods. One is their Lash Princess Mascara Primer, and then another one is their Lash Princess Black Brown Mascara. So personally, I love the Lash Princess Mascara. It's probably my number one repurchase mascara of all, all time. I always make sure to have it on hand. So when I saw this post, I was like, no way. I don't always wear brown mascara. I haven't really gotten into the brown mascara life. So, I mean, this is only gonna be five dollars i might pick it up if i end up seeing it at ulta i would love to give it a go and maybe see if i'll fall in love with this or dislike it we'll see but it is kind of on my radar so 97 percent sure i'm probably gonna pick that up i mean it's also if it would be like a 19 dollars mascara i'd probably be like no i'm never gonna wear it but five dollars it's like I must, I must test out the essence lash princess sister brown mascara and then we have the lash primer i find that lash primers generally do work i feel like which one do I like? The L'Oreal one is very good. The Lancome one is also nice, but I just never seem to repurchase that one because they're so expensive. It's so expensive. So lash primers, for me, what it does, I feel like it really like prolongs the wear of my mascara. Like it really sets it in place. And I feel like it also just gives a little bit more life to my lashes in a sense. Like I feel like whatever mascara I use on top of a lash primer, it gives me even more volume, more length and separation as well. So it's a little bit of an extra step and I don't do it all the time, but when I do use a lash primer, I'm always like, you know what? I do see the difference. So if I have the patience to use a lash primer, I will, but sometimes I'll just skip it, but I feel like it does make a difference. So 
and the packaging is so cute. So <laughs> your girl's gonna be on that one, okay? I have to make an Ulta haul sometime soon. Okay, next up we have a Sephora Favorites kit. This is the Deluxe Perfume Sampler. I wanna say, yeah, this is $82, kinda steep, but what I love about these kits by Sephora is that you get a nicely curated uh, group of fragrances. It also comes with a voucher you could use to redeem a fragrance of your choice, and I think the fragrance you could redeem is a 1.7 fluid ounce size. I like these because, I mean, I always say this, you know me, um, I'm very picky with scents, you know? Before my pregnancy, and especially after my pregnancy, like things are just either like yes or no. There's really no one in between with me. So with this, you can test out five different fragrances, see which one works well with your body, like scent, all of that. And then you can purchase like the fuller size. I want to get this one because of the Prada fragrance. I used to babysit by this lady for years when I was in high school and this was her go-to scent. And it was just always a dream of mine to pick this up. I don't know why I haven't done it till now, but now it just kind of reminded me that like, you know what? It'd be nice to have that in my life. Is it a necessity? No, but it would be cool. Yeah. The Prada fragrance comes in here. By the fireplace, I hate by Replica. Hate, like, oh my gosh. So I would 100% not get that. We also get the Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. I don't know what that's gonna smell like. We get the Mason Louise Marie fragrance in here too, and then a Carolina Herrera, which I might like that one. I have one other fragrance from her, which I love, and this pink one I don't own, so. Maybe, maybe for 82 bucks, it's a possibility. I also wanted to speak about this Sephora favorites kit. It's the Lunar New Year Makeup Superstars kit. I want to say it's only available either in Canada or the UK. I'm not sure, but definitely not in the US, which kind of sucks because this is such a solid Sephora favorites kit. I mean, look at the products that come on the inside. A Tom Ford red lipstick, a beauty blender, the NARS liquid blushes, which I've been so curious about. What a cycle. Um, one of the... Tower 28 mascara is a full size, a MAC lip liner, which is kind of crazy because I feel like in other plate in other countries, MAC is sold at Sephora. And I know that's true because when I went to Mexico, I saw MAC at a Sephora store there, which I thought was so odd. So to see this was surprising, but I'm also like, okay, but it's not really like in the US, it's more like, you know, out. So I thought that was interesting, but yeah, that's included. A deluxe size of the All Nighter, a Shawl Torbury lipstick, and a Laura Mercier loose setting powder. So it says it's $69. I don't know if it's worth $69, but it's still like a really fun one. And it would be cool to have the option to purchase here if you know one was interested. Uh, but, but it's not coming here, I don't think. So X that. But I think I would have probably purchased it just to kind of feel it out and see what's up. I just wish they would change the... What's it called? The Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I feel like they always include the shade... Pillow Talk Medium in their kits and it's like, okay, kind of switch, like switch it up, okay? Either put the original one or put the deepest one, but stop putting the medium one because it's like, keep doing that. All right, next up we have this kit here from Tara 28. It's the Lunar New Year Duo. So it comes with a cream blush in a red shade, which I believe is exclusive to this kit. I checked out their other cream blushes and I did not see it available on, you know, their site. So I think it's exclusive. Yeah, it's a limited edition kit that includes two new brand new items. It's $28 for both of these. And there's also a gloss that's included in here. It's a clear with gold shimmer, which I think is very popular and very like on trend these days. The Tower 28 glosses in general, I really love. They're non-sticky. They add a nice amount of pigmentation to the lips and they're just insanely hydrating and comfortable. So for 28 bucks, I think it's a great value considering the fact that these are two full sizes. So definitely on my radar. You probably hear my baby. <laughs> Guga. <laughs> Mikey, Guga. <laughs> Michael's watching him. Don't think I left him alone. Okay. Next up, we have a concealer by Fenty. This is the Hydrating Longwear Concealer. I'm ultra excited about this launch. I'm ultra. I'm like, you're like making fun of me. I'm ultra excited about this launch, right? Mm -hmm. Really enjoy the Fenty Complexion products. I've mentioned it many times on here. Her eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes, I personally feel like suck. Time and time again, I've repurchased or purchased a lot of her palettes and I'm always disappointed with the pigmentation and quality. But her complexion products are top notch as well as her lip products. So this is the Hydrating Longwear Concealer. It's gonna be available in 50 shades on January 12th. So on January 12th, there are gonna be a few launches. So definitely stay tuned for that. It seems like it has a typical doe foot applicator. I love the packaging. It's, you know, it looks pretty like luxurious in a way has like that diamond like 
cut almost. Don't know how much it's gonna retail for. I would I would assume in a twenty dollar range, but I won't be surprised if it's like thirty two bucks. I feel like a lot of brands are just raising their prices, and it's like for a concealer though. What are you doing? But I mean, I have a lot of drugstore concealers that do a great job, so this is on my radar. But not if it's gonna be like thirty nine dollars, you know. So we'll see. On January twelfth. <laughs> Okay, these blushes right here from Buxom are 100% no for me. It's the Plump Shot Collagen Peptides Plumping Cream Blush. Okay, so I just kind of feel like this specific product, personally, in my opinion, is a very like outdated product. Like I just feel like it's so like three years ago. And a lot of times brands will capitalize on specific, you know, products and packaging if they know that line specifically did well for example like the essence lash princess if they would randomly just come out with a brown mascara i feel like it would probably sell but not as well as lash princess because lash princess has a name so brands again they, they just jump on that on the job jump on the opportunity so this by buxom i feel like was a very very popular launch initially and now they're coming out with a cream version I mean, I just would have loved a little bit more with the packaging, personally, for me. And also, what does plump shot collagen mean? If it's going to give me a plumping effect on my cheeks like lip products give, this is definitely not something I want to have on my face. So, I'm not really sure what, uh, what that means. And, I mean, the shades look pretty typical, pretty regular, pretty decent for... with You know, we just see these shades over and over again. So, if I'm going to purchase a blush... If I'm gonna purchase a blush, it's probably gonna be like the Natasha Denona one or even the Tower 28. Like I've just seemed more interested in those than this one. And these are $28 each. Also, I think I found these at TJ Maxx at some point in my life. So because I found it there, it's like, I just don't wanna spend $28 on this because you were already like 10 bucks at some point. So I'm not gonna pay 28. So this is not on my radar and I'm not gonna pick it up. Not even one, unless I find it for like on sale for like 10 or something then, you know. That then you always make an exception but for 28 no next we have these right here from summer fridays i'm counting down the days for these i don't know why exactly and i don't even know what this is going to actually do for the lips but this is the summer fridays what is this exactly dream lip oil i've seen a decent amount of videos on instagram of people applying these and it just looks really really good now again how have, have we seen these type of products millions of times over We'll have to see if it actually is anything unique or different. Probably not. But I want to give it a go. I want to give it a try. I might pick up all the shades to do a like lip swatch review. And maybe I'll try to find like lip liners you can pair with these. So, you know, you can kind of get a full look with them. But I, I love the concept of a lip oil that is somewhat pigmented. Because like I mentioned in a few of my other videos, I really enjoy products that I just could swipe on and go. I'm really not that kind of person on an everyday, like on a day-to-day -day basis to like line my lips out and make sure they're perfect. Like I probably have lipstick on my teeth 98% of the time. That's just the, you know, that's just what it is. I think the shades are also amazing. You get like two lighter shades, a pink, a nude, and then two deeper shades. Obviously, I'm more into the lighter shades because you know that's my life. But the deeper shades actually look really pretty, like very like 90s-esque. So this is releasing, I believe, on January 18th, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I think I saw on their page. Yeah, so I'm like in 70s, something like that. All right, next we have this palette here from ColourPop. This is the Golden Hour eyeshadow palette for $24. It's actually available at Ulta, on Ulta site already if you guys are interested. I'm gonna skip on this one. I, I kind of feel like for very like obvious reasons is why I'm gonna skip on this. I do get PR from ColourPop, but not every single collection from there. Like it's very like sporadic, very random collections. And I don't know why, I just kind of feel like this is gonna come to my house, you know? Meaning like, I'm obviously not gonna throw it out or anything. I could do a giveaway or something. It's just like so the type to happen. Like I specifically don't wanna pick this up and I would love a different collection from them, but this is gonna happen to show up. And if it does, I'll keep you posted. Like I said, I'll probably do a giveaway, but I think for $24, it's a little bit steep for ColourPop. I know you get, you know, more than four or 12 shades in here, but these are such repetitive shades that we see a million gazillion times over. And I kind of feel like we're over it. Let me know if you disagree with me, but with this kind of palette, it's like enough already. Like it's just, it's always the same thing though. Next we have this right here from Sol de Janeiro. I know this is not the newest thing that just launched, but it's their new Delicia Drench Body Butter. $22 for the small one. I believe it's $47 for the bigger one. I wanted to pick this up and uh, 
I heard all those things about like it attracting spiders and I'm thinking like I don't know if people just made that up just to kind of get attention or to knock the brand down who knows that's like what I think personally because yeah but anyway I went to the store yesterday <laughs> I went to Sephora and I, I was like you know what hey let me smell this I don't know what I think about it it's like I'm really in the middle it just kind of smells weird but it doesn't smell too bad but not ultra amazing I don't know it's just and I kept smelling my hands I'm like what does this even smell like so yeah i'm not sure do they have a body mist for this one i'm very in between i'd love to know what you guys think about this like have you purchased it did you see it attract spiders or not if that's true then i would be very very shocked um well in this house especially like if i put it on then like it's a very spidery house so <laughs> um i don't know so i could test it out and actually see because you know we have bugs here all the time well sometimes especially in the summer though but yeah, I'm still kind of in the middle. Like, I'm like, am I spending money on this? Am I not? Like, are we liking it? Like, what's up? So I really would love to know with this specifically. Please let me know. Like, if you purchased it, how it sits on your body. Are you loving it? Are you hating it? Like, what's your, like, how do you feel about it? Next item that I wanted to speak about is this by Pat McGrath. This is a new release. Apparently, it's going to launch in about... 48 hours so we'll see a lot of times pat mcgrath will release like a specific video but she'll kind of like blur it out and not actually show like shirts and shirts and shades in a palette but this right here looks like it's going to be a quad i don't typically purchase her quads i feel like sometimes it can be overpriced and a lot of times they end up going on sale but i would be very curious to know what this one has to offer i do like her formula and i feel like when her palettes are done well they're done really really well but at the same time i find that a lot of her stuff could be very repetitive so We'll have to see about this one. These little ones by her are usually around $64. Again, very steep. But, you know, if it's like shades that are like insanely like out of this world, maybe be worth it, maybe not. I guess we'll see once the picture launches. But this is what I have for you for now. <laughs> A blurry one. Next, we have this Tom Ford quad. I'm usually not one who gets Tom Ford quads. But this is really um, I don't know if it's part of their regular collection and they just launched this specific one with the hearts for Valentine's. But it's like an item that I want, but I just wouldn't buy it for myself. So Michael, if you're watching this, or Natalia, my sister, I'll take it as a gift, thanks. <laughs> this is beautiful. It really has just gorgeous tones for every day that I feel like you can kind of swipe on and it would just look very like luscious and pretty. Um, and I feel like they're just perfectly pigmented as well, so... I only have one Tom Ford quad that I really, really enjoy. The sheets are gorgeous and very buttery and smooth. So I have no doubt that this is going to be beyond perfect. Okay, next we have this collection by Physicians Formula. This is actually their 2024 like lineup. So they're going to be releasing a decent amount of goods. First uh, off, we have the Diamond Bronzer. So they have this in a highlighter version which is very pretty by the way, but a little more pricey, but it is gorgeous on the skin. So I'm happy that they're kind of expanding the line. Again, you see like they're capitalizing on something that's very popular. So now they're releasing the bronzers. I would definitely pick this up. I know that the highlighter almost has like a cushiony, almost wet feel to it, but it's a very easy formula to work with and it looks really stunning on the skin. So because the formula, you know, is so unique, I would say, especially for Vizzin's formula, I would love to see what that could do for me in a bronzer form. I think they're going to be releasing a decent amount of shades. It seems like they're going to have some that have like a little bit of like a luminosity to them and then some that are more of a matte finish. But the packaging is really cute and I think it's going to be a good one. I'm excited. I'm thrilled to hopefully see those in store soon. They also are going to be releasing the Mineral Wear BB Cream. I don't know if I want to pick that up. <laughs> I don't know. Like nobody cares if you want to pick it up. Well, if you do. <laughs> It depends. It, you know, it really depends on the price. Because this is like a $20 item, which Physicians Formula is pricey as of lately, then probably not. But if it's like maybe $14, $13, I would love to kind of give it a go. I mean, why not? So there's that. They also have color correcting like products. I already have a few from e.l.f. and one from like Lottie London, which I really enjoy. So I'm going to skip on those. I've been using color correctors lately because I feel like I've been getting a bit um, older here. So they've been really helping. Like the pink one especially and the peach one I love. The ones that I have. But I'm good on color correctors for now. There's also going to be a bronzer blush like situation compact. Maybe it could be a good product for those days where you don't like really really care how your makeup looks. You're just kind of like dabbing your brush in there and applying it on the cheeks if you're going like out, you know 
for a quick run or just something quick or like in the summertime you're going to the beach you want something maybe it could be a nice product they're also going to be releasing these lip conditioners the packaging looks insane so i want to pick it up because of the packaging i hope it's a good product it's very pretty and it looks like it's gonna have like a doe foot applicator to it so thrilled about those they're gonna be releasing those in a few different shades they're also gonna have these bronze this bronzing serum i have a different like bronzing serum from them that i i enjoy it makes like it looks really pretty on the skin but i've noticed throughout time it just my face itches more than average when i wear that so i wanna it leads me to believe that that product is doing it i still love what it does for my skin but i don't use it as much as i used to um, even though i'm actually halfway done with it so i, I might want to finish it off and then probably i won't repurchase but this looks really good so hopefully it's not going to give me the same like reaction they're also going to be releasing the contour wand which is like a charlotte's Tilbury like dupe a lot of brands are doing that so definitely on my radar and i think that's pretty much it yeah good stuff most of the collection looks really intriguing and I'm very excited. The next item I wanted to speak to you guys about, just lost my place. Okay, these eyeliners are from ColourPop and they're called the Multi-Chrome BFF Cream Gel Liners. I think this is really cool. I would love to know if it actually applies as smoothly as they're making it look. And I would love to know if you can actually see the few different colors on your actual eyes you know sometimes with these kind of products i feel like you kind of expect more because you see the pictures and then when you actually apply it it's like you can mostly see like a green sheet or you can mostly see like more red but but really you're expecting yellow and green and blue and that liner so these are fairly affordable i want to say it doesn't say here but i want to say in the ten dollar range i'd love to pick one up like i mentioned and if it actually works, it would be like a game changer because I think it can really elevate any look, especially if you're going for something more neutral or natural and then adding this, with a, it'll just give you a pop of something. So I want to pick those up. I have a bunch of other things I want to speak about. I feel like are we, are we like, is it too long already or what? These from e.l.f. look really good. They're saying <laughs> lots of really good looking stuff lately. I haven't purchased stuff in ages. Like even Ulta, like I think my last purchase was six months plus ago these from elf look fantastic they have so many likes on instagram it's the pout clout lip plumping pen okay i really had enough of plumping lip products if you guys are on my team please raise your hand because i just feel like all these brands are releasing solid lip products like this looks insanely amazing but why does it have to be plumping like why um i i just would love this without the plump you know like easy one two three like out the door kind of thing click it out and you're good to go so we'll see what effects it actually gives the lip if it's going to be like insanely uncomfortable or it just gives you like a hint of something but i find that i have a decent amount of plumping lip products that i love like i love the shades of the products and sometimes i'll just throw it on i'm like okay maybe and then a few minutes later i'm like oh i cannot i just can't do this anymore I'm like i'm so over it so hopefully they have a line that isn't plumping but these are apparently are going to be so we'll have to see what it actually does uh, so we'll see about those that's like maybe maybe i'll pick up one if it's really extreme you know give it away and if it's not extreme then we might have a winner the final thing i wanted to speak to you guys about is yeah this fragrance here from valentino actually looks beautiful this is a floral amber fragrance with woodsy notes um, i think the packaging is beautiful i love the bottle it's very similar to their other one the pink one and the pink one was my wedding fragrance so it really like holds a special place in my heart if you know what i'm saying and i'm always gonna remember that when i wear that fragrance so this it just kind of looks like the sister of that and so i would love to add it to my collection i haven't purchased a fragrance in a very long time the few recent ones that i purchased absolutely smelled so eventually when i clean up my desk area i want to situate everything nicely and like i have a vision of how i want to organize like my fragrances i really don't have much and especially after well while i was pregnant i decluttered tons of stuff because everything smelled i had a very like my smell was very heightened so everything smelled disgusting to me most of them which items that i really loved i just was like i can't do this anymore so i i think i have maybe five fragrances it's not, not the most not the littlest ever it also says it has jasmine and it has like a seductive touch of vanilla extract 
We'll see. I'll probably probably pick up the one fluid ounce size. I usually go for the smaller size. I find that usually that lasts me a decent amount of time. And for the most part, when I finish that size, it's very, very rare for me to repurchase a fragrance again unless I'm like insanely obsessed. But because I like to kind of switch things up often, I usually don't repurchase fragrances. I'm thinking now, what did I ever repurchase? Probably probably one or two like perfumes, but it's pretty rare for me. So it's like, you know, a glimpse of what the perfume has to offer, use it up, you know, enjoy it, and then kind of move on type, type of thing. That's pretty much it that wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know your thoughts and comments below, of course, especially about the Sol de Janeiro product and really about everything else. I'd love to know your take on what you're gonna spend your money on, what you're like not really that into. Um, yeah, keep me posted and I'll see you all in my next one.